Yeah, I'd like to hear some of your thoughts on anxiety. I'm hearing a lot about social anxiety and the rise of anxiety in teenagers, and I'm just mm -hmm, wondering mm -hmm. what you're seeing in your practice. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things I like to talk to parents about um, when it comes to anxiety is, first of all, anxiety is normal and healthy, right? So we all experience anxiety on some level, and we need to. Um, we need to let our kids feel worried and concerned and then get through it, whether it's worried about a test or worried about something they have to say to their friend, right? They need to experience the anxiety, learn how to cope with it, and get on the other side of it where they say like, oh, okay, I can do that, right? Because the more they practice that when they're young, the more they'll be able to face the, you know, the, the more serious life challenges that are going to come their way as they're adults, right? So one mistake that parents make unintentionally is that they shield their kids from things that might trigger anxiety. So if my teenager is struggling with social anxiety, don't let them avoid school or avoid social situations regularly. I mean, everyone needs a day off once in a while, but they need to face it, right? So give them support, encouragement, you know, get them the tools they need, but, but make sure that they're facing the challenge and, that they're, and that, they're, that they're successful, right? So they can feel that they know how to cope with anxiety, right? Um, you know, in terms of teenagers now, um, I, I do think that there's a, a higher expectation on teenagers of this generation to achieve. Um, and I think it's important for parents to really ask themselves, um, you know, why is it that I want them to do all their homework and get all A's and get to a specific great school, right? Like, what am I really wanting for them? Because I think when it comes down to it, what most parents want for their kids is that they have a happy, healthy life where they feel fulfilled. And is the grade that they get, you know, as a junior in high school on their AP biology test, is that really correlated with their happiness in life? I don't think so. You know, we know that healthy relationships have a much stronger correlation to life-term success than our grades do when, you know, when we're in high school. So I think parents need a reality check, right? I think to ask themselves that question. Um, and we need to take a little pressure off our teenagers. Um, I think schools feel pressure from parents. And so we, you know, we implement standards as well at school. It's going to take some time for us to shift, I think, as a society. But we can start at home by, you know, taking off some of the pressure, um, and helping our teenagers to find a healthy balance. Balance is really key. And if we do that, they're gonna be experiencing a healthy amount of stress and anxiety. They need to have some, right? But it needs to be in a healthy balance.